ended up living in the avenues with Aaron and his boyfriend until that didn't work out. So this is what 42nd Street actually looked like at that point. And this is actually 43rd Street, I believe, or 42nd Street. And this is what it looked like then. Uh, it's so different now, because let's go on. This is, and then right away, I, I became friends with Warhol's celebrity, Jackie Curtis. And we became just inseparable. And we just slept the streets of, of the Lower East Side together. And uh, we just had a ball. And here's a, uh, Warhol pictures of Curtis. And let's go on to the next one. There's another picture of Curtis. And she was doing similar theater at the time that we were. But here, uh, they did a show with Kenny Darling called Vain Victory. And I see a lot of glamour, glitz, and glitter in her show. And here's Jackie and Angie Tattoo. And we go on. And also at the same time, I met on the streets of the West Village on Christopher Street, Marsha P. Johnson, who everyone knows from you know, the new Stonewall movie. With all the brouhaha of the new Stonewall movie, I like to say that despite how people think it's terrible or are not, not historic or bad or whatever, one thing it's done it is putting the names of Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera on everyone's tongues. Mm -hmm. And it's making them finally get some credit. And no matter what else it's done, if it's not historically accurate, if it's Hollywood's version, it's all right with me. Because people know now who Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera are and how important they are to the gay scene, not just here, but all over the world, and the amazing contribution they made. So here's Marsha, and here's Marsha. This is my favorite picture of Marsha, by the way, uh, by the New York photographer Stanley Steller. And I just love that picture. Mm -hmm. uh, Marsha, before you continue with this, before you move on, Marsha, um, I got to work with Marsha in an Angel of Light show here called uh, The Enchanted Miracle. Uh, at the old theater for the new city on West Bend. Was that on Jane Street, Joe? Mm -hmm. On the street? Yeah, the street you live on. Uh, and uh, uh, Hibiscus wrote this play called The Enchanted Miracle in 1973 based on a comet that was really coming through the hemisphere mm -hmm. called Kahootek in 1973. It was supposed to be a big deal. Turned out the comet fizzled out in real life. <laughs> but we did this play uh, called The Enchanted Miracle. And I played the gypsy maiden who sung Ochichonya in Russian and English to the gypsy king. I lured away the gypsy king from the gypsy queen, played by Marsha P. Johnson. And on Tuesday of next week, uh, the filmmakers of a new Marsha P. Johnson movie are coming to my house where I'm staying in Brooklyn and uh, are going to be filming me and talking about my experience with Marsha B. Johnson, getting to do, sing Ochechonia to her 60 times, two shows a night, for the whole month of December in 1973, and her work not only with the Angels of Light, but with the Hot Peaches. And Hibiscus just recruited her off the streets of Christopher Street, and we would see her every day, and it was just fabulous. Here's Marsha.